surprised you're alive, Captain. You know, with my fighting record, I wouldn't die easily. I picture the line would be pissed if you were to die easily anyway. We can handle that riff rough. Hey, Kyler. Hey, Toti. Um, just so you know, yeah, I know, uh, we just went through a lot right now, but, um, you know those, uh, three guys that were, like, uh, wait, were you around? Uh, late night, three guys scurried around, almost tried to corner me at one point. They were, like, really scary, the guy with two swords on hip. Um, anyway, Tang just walked off with them. Um, they might be the ones planning the attack on the tavern. You want to handle that, Tiberius? I can attempt it. Only if you feel like you should. And they walk towards us, uh, that direction. I'm glad you I don't know what they're talking about. I trust, the, you know, Tang to be one of the only people to handle himself around them, but that's three people, and I don't know what they want. So just to let you know. Thanks, Doty. I don't return. I died. Well, we got a fire burning for you. less about that, it was more about just everything. It's a little soul crushing, but you know that already. Having to pretend like everything's fine and you're okay. Masks on masks, Lisa. It's what we do. That's what we do. Hey. What's it like being, uh, not free, but under new management? Yeah. Sarah's a good lass. She'll look after you. If you want. Lord, whenever you have a moment, I have some information for you. At your convenience. Come along, then. Hmm. Never ends.
Whatever you wish. Is here okay? My house is occupied. Hmm. Just down there, maybe. Sure. Roger, you want me to check to see if there's any prying news? Sure, but you might want to hear the last part. I'm going to be listening. I'll be in hearing range. I'm just going to be eyes on the side. Right. Yeah. So, first off, a ship is safe for now. But there's some difficulties rising with the nearby... Well, do we want the fish? Imperials. Uh, Akka to know. Yeah, she's okay. Right, Akka? Right. Mm. <sighs> what kind of issues? By the way, the pressure is mounting. Say again. What kind of issues? Well. I'm getting some words from a couple of prying ears that they might try to seize the boat in the coming days if they are not head off first. So, okay. Although it's far too dangerous to do on foot right now to go that far, but I might have a plan. I'll talk to you more on that later. Mm -hmm. In other news, they're going to open the Neron Bridge or lower it tomorrow. Only tomorrow. Once more, some sort of delegation or force is coming through. It'll be raised afterwards. You'll only have a small window of time. Uh, I don't know specifics, but... Interesting. They seem to be going to Palamin, as far as I can tell. I can look further into this, but it's dangerous, and I can't do it for free. How much do you need? A little bit of funding, I'd say 11 or so silver. 11 or so. Mostly. To help him. He's good at getting information. Quietly. You're lucky you've been trustworthy. Get what you need. I get information. I'll get that information to you as soon as I get it. Right. But that's as far as I know so far. Hopefully that can help. Fingers are crossed. Thanks again for looking out for us. Of course, least I can do. Okay. Ship will stay in tip-top shape. Good. As long as I'm in charge and safe. That's all. Good. You have a good night. Right, you. you as well, Lord. Right. You and I have some talking to do. Let's go. Sure do. Especially how long you've not been in communication. Yeah, yeah, what I'm never going to hear the end of I it. I thought you died. You know what you're not going to hear the end of? I never thought you were going to come out of that tin can. Come out of your shell. At Eve, she's... I don't know what it is, but she's good at... <sighs> Why is she outside of the fucking house? She's good. Coke, she's out. Mm. I guess she's not. Why is she outside, Marcus? <sighs> yeah. She can break this up. Because... We need to travel. Where? Why? Home. You say need to travel. I was given permission by Baron Amen. Fuck. To lay my other. Scatter you two. Second you then. Ninth. Good lord, you were with me that long. Twenty years. I'm gonna pick up my horse, he's gonna lead my horse. I'm gonna ride it. Out of character, would you? Yeah. Any of that is mine, but you can leave you for Raja. <coughs> oh, come now, I've been having to deal with dealing with the Imperials trying to snoop around the area of our ship. Of course, I'm going to be with you. Fair enough. At present, if you have made my job it more difficult. Just tell the guys. Thank you. Yeah. I've heard with you many times before, and I am always in need of money. You guys keep telling me. Speaking of, you get me information, 
You get more. Free silver. Okay. Well, I only... Tonight, maybe, so... Yeah, I know. Uh, all days indeed. And the, actually, the next thing I might be able to talk to Dean about that. <laughs> He's also pretty you, good. Really. After you, Marcus. Right. Those tables. Yeah. Yeah. Right there. Let's see the tables real quick and grab it. Here's Willow. What she she grabs on. A yep. She grabs on your arm lead. and slides down. Interesting for that's 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 his right that's that's his what the f you can't just steal it why is he I don't see the horse over there it's invisible for me what the fuck figure it out I think you stole his horse Fenora <laughs> what is that the same no this is a different one. Well, his disappeared the, as soon as you see got the on one. See the different markings right there? That wonderful. His disappeared as soon as you. His horse is right there. Oh no, it's gone. <gasps> his horse is. Oh, there it is. What the fuck? Anything? I don't know how that happened. I couldn't like, okay, try I'm it. Not, I'm not. And I couldn't go too there far in, or the orcs would grab right. me. That's, That's fair. Um, Kyler, I'll roll for you. <laughs> You'll recognize this symbol on her horse. This is her original uh, marking Jack from back in Ledford okay, that was on her back before it was overwritten. Subtle.
god, I'm drifting. <laughs> Oh god. <laughs> okay, I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Oh god. Thank you. Okay. Where's the procession? Oh, right there. It's going to be at the main tree. I'll be done in a moment. I'm gonna go freshen up in my mother's house real quick. Uh, sure. Sure. Uh. You're right, Tiberius. Will be, I guess. Hmm. I'm glad you made it back, all right. I don't know why they call you the Wall. They should call you the Swift with how quickly you jumped in like that. Thanks for that. Mm -hmm. I was uh, I was asked by your father to track you. Primarily her. Well, I'm glad you did. My pleasure. <laughs> Any excuse to fuck up? Unfortunately, there was no gray. No, you were saying... Unfortunately... ...a distinct lack of them. Mm. Mm. They had one runner. If only it had been a few inches, my spear would have pierced the skull. <sighs> and they could have done the same to yours. <sighs> Hello, Morwen. I had a duty to do. You know this. Your duty is not to get killed. I know. I know. I'll take the shield next time. And it's all steel. Well, this is an interesting dynamic. <clears throat> Where's the, uh... This is Morwin. Morwin. My sentinel. Pleasure. Hello. Where are we uh, doing this at? As far as I know, somewhere here. Forest called me, I was not told. I'm gonna grab my water skin real quick. Sure.
What a day, huh? <laughs> More ways than one. <laughs> Have to see if the company armorsmith can fix up the gash in my plate. <sighs> if I could work armor, I would. <clears throat> It's a sacrifice I was glad to make. It would help with the problem. There was a lot of them there. A full raiding party. Twenty or thirty. Silent. Yes. Doesn't bode well. Those ones. Valron is. Circling the outsides, we're keeping an eye out. We'll do what we can to trim numbers that are going out, but they've built up. We'll have to start those operations with the Rangers again then. See if we can diminish them a bit. Or we'll get some intel on them or something. <clears throat> intel is going to be your best bet. Diminishing them is. Oh, I'm sure you figured out. You gotta put someone of interest to pull. Mm -hmm. We should be ready to diminish them and to the stop their access from the mountains. They bring in dozens every day. Here comes the maiden. How did you say that you can contact them? If you intend on poking a hole in Smith, I advise against it. I consider your advice again. Tell me. The scarecrows is now. The maiden glides past, staff in hand, as a green glow seems to encase her, as the rest begin to follow. Sean. Arn has a saying. Yeah. Don't take the armor off. Means. <sighs> Did we can never get any lighter. The armor? No, your legs get stronger. It means that while we're fighting, while we have to be in battle. Keep the armor on. And when the armor comes off, take the time to grieve. Look after those... Well, look after yourself. Check your wounds. Until then, we keep the armor on. For the people around us. So we can be strong for them. That's our job. You get what I'm saying? I do. And I thank you for it. Did 
just feel like maybe I'm never doing enough. Similarly, that feeling doesn't go away either. Trust me. Right, Tiberius? Well, I wouldn't dare to see her smile again. Time, my friend. <sighs> Time and care. Tia, you were someone that taught me to let go of my hate and embrace love. You taught me what it means to be an elf, be a servant of her, a servant of Etla and the Maiden. You were the one that gave me the title. Haronir. I will never forget you. Thank you. For everything. It was you who molded us, our broken tribe, to the warriors we are today. Your courage and your wisdom has forged us to greater elves than we ever would have been without you. I am proud to call myself a Valmanir of the Redaya. I will always live to serve your memory, proud. Didn't know you as well as I wish I could. Similar blood as myself. From far, far away from here. Lost our homes in very similar fashions. You're the only one that really understood. There's nobody else that I know that does. The Wood Elves of the East do not end with you. this together is going to send you home. Thank you for everything, dear.
here. You were the one who found me. In those woods, starving and alone. You brought me here. After what I once called a tribe was gone in dust. After I had escaped an old life of slavery, you have brought me to a new tribe, a new family. And for that, I am ever grateful. You set me on the path. Set me down a path that I wish to follow for the rest of my life. Thank you, dear, for everything that you have done. Let's go. stories you had or of your wisdom to be given by you but every warrior deserves to rest Do you wish you were still here? You deserve to stay by her side. The original charge. Thank you. For showing me what it truly felt to be a part of a tribe. Even though I am not a part of this tribe originally. Thank you for everything, dear. I do not have much words for you, dear, but wherever your spirit be, may it be resting there. Thank you, dear, for accepting me. Even though I did foolish things, you always showed kindness towards me. Something I rarely had. And thank you for being a teacher. Even to a man. told me much about your original home a plethora of the tribe that you protected before us the one that you helped 
not the girl that, the one that you helped lead. Yeah. Hmm. I truly hope that what I was able to see here is much like what it once was. Like a red memory. soul can find peace as you once again greet your family, your friends, your dryad, wherever you may go. By the grace of our love and your own will. you wanted for all of us. A man lost so, so far, a shadow plaguing your mind and your heart. For ages I wondered if you would ever look up and see the light. I think about time that you were, you finally shed the burden that tore you down and kept you anchored. Now you are free. I do hope that wherever you go, whatever your life may be, that it is one full of light. Never again will you live in shame. I wish we could have run among the trees one last time. Fare thee well, Sentinel. May you rest in peace forever. Oh, misty sky and the oceans below. Keep careful watch of our brothers. And should our lives be filled with fire and smoke, keep your watch on our daughters and sons. Farewell, Sentinel. I will see you when I get back to the Earth. I have not lived one day of my life as a widow. I scarcely can even tell anyone what that means or what exactly it feels like. And I... <laughs> I wanted to. Seeing as that you were so readily eager to teach me, to tell me what it was, what our people were. were wise beyond many, knowledgeable beyond my wildest dreams. <laughs> you were a fount of so much that I can dare say I would have overflowed. I 
Danke, Breath of the Sea Talk. There's one thing I wish you and I could have shared together. Is I hope our love the stars. So that as you gaze up at them, I will look at them as with you. No matter how far you are from me. Just <sighs> well. you black and not black. <laughs> In a place no lover of the forest should find, it was so battle-torn and war-torn, and yet you were there. And then I met you on the back streets. <laughs> we were sitting on a bench. Passerby's coming and going. You were focused on the peace of the moment and drinking your tea from a small wooden cup. <laughs> you looked tired, like you had been traveling a long time. When you looked up at me, covered in soot, wearing my blacksmith's garb, <laughs> the first thing you did was offer me your drink. Thirsty blacksmith. Come sit and talk. Drink. <laughs> Every time I came across you in that town, you only offered words of kindness, comfort, wisdom. Soon enough, we befriended one another. I've met many elves and dwarves in my lifetime, but none quite like you. You had an air of peace about you. You were the last to draw your weapon unless you absolutely had to. You treated everyone as equal to each other. But one thing I hated is you treated everyone as if they were greater than yourself. Your burden, whatever it was. You wore it like shackles upon the flesh. And I wish I could have helped you and did not know what it was until this day. I'm afraid I never will. The only part of me that feels gladder is the part that knows those shackles can hold you no longer. You are free. I was able to finally sit down and enjoy that drink with you like we promised each other over and over and over again. But you had to tend to yours and I had to tend to mine. It just there was never the time. And I will always regret that. I will miss you to the forest. I shall look for you when the wind is strongest amongst the boughs of the trees. And hold for a glimpse. And when I go home tonight, I will set out to drink a oath of tea. You shall drink mine and I shall wait until you've finished yours.
I'm not sure what I'm supposed to say. Today you were my... My everything in Hadwick. From the moment that we met, you could tell I was terrified. You were the only thing that kept me grounded from running. I... <laughs> I'm quite certain I wouldn't even be here if it were not for you. My, my very best. Explaining every little nuance that there was to being a wood elf. And being there waiting with open arms once we passed the border. <laughs> I would have been terrified every step of the way had it not been for you. And for the longest time I felt like you were my only friend. Everyone here keeps calling you a sentinel, but you were so much more. You gave everything and did not ask for anything in return. I am so sorry I could not show you that you were more. I am sorry that you gave it all for nothing. I hope you find something better waiting for you. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> I want to go. Hey there, bud. <laughs> I know it's been a while since we last saw each other, but I'm usually a wordsmith. <laughs> Just like you. Everyone around you has said such wise and kind words. None that I can rebuff or remain. But you know, I remember the last words said to me. They were very much like your first words you said to me. I may be human, but at least I can remember that much. You asked me if I was well and if I found what I was looking for in these far off distant lands. All those around you, I, I could not even compare to them. You always said such wonderful things to me every day. In that place or another. And I've been trying to better myself. Because I was better for having known you. You always had a plan. You always had a way to uplift someone's spirits. <sighs> me thinking, I wish I could do the same. And with your passing, it, it leaves me speechless. I just wish we'd met under different circumstances, I suppose. But just know, I never answered your question. The answer is yes. I did find what I was looking for here. I found purpose, I found meaning in my life. I found such kind of people. And you made it so much brighter. So I know I don't get to say it to you here. 
But thank you. Thank you for being a wonderful and beautiful person. You saw beauty where there wasn't. You saw kindness where there wasn't. So thank you. Thanks, bud. young I always was told stories of heroes I never really believed them how, how can someone be brave, kind smart and generous with everybody this world never showed me that until I met you there You said a difference in me. And instead of pushing it back or shipping into something else, you encourage it. You always told me I was more like a dwarf than an elf. I always joke with you, but from you, I always took that as a compliment. Every time. You were trying to guide me on the right path. I never knew had choices in this life until you speak to me. That I can make my own. That I don't have to be what others see me for. I don't know what to say anymore. I'm not used to those kind of moments. But all I can say is thank you for all the nights, the patrols, and words you always try to encourage me, nourish me, and guide me. Thank you, Tear, for just being yourself. And thank you to have enlightened my life more.
say these words today. You feel a strange sensation. The flower of hope, the energy from it seems to briefly expand ever so slowly towards the older tree. Its radius getting closer and closer, straining to even come this far. And slowly, you can tell from feeling alone that it encompasses at least the island that the older tree is upon. And another voice stirs, this one to your left. Look at the eyes. Look at the eyes. It was always my eyes, wasn't it? That's what you told me when I first met. That I had the eyes of a warrior, right? You kept saying that. You kept saying that. Why are you saying at the end? At the end of the apothecary, you knew I wanted to go. You knew I wanted to go down there. You knew I was ready to die. That I was ready to die for this grove, for my family, what little that I have left. Why'd you make me stay? Why'd you make me stay? Telling me that I had to stay to leave them. I told you I'm not a leader. I've never been a leader. I never will be a leader. But you told me to stay anyway. And for what? It should have been me, dear. It always should have been. You should be standing here right now. But no. You told me I had to lead. Fine. Fine. You want to believe in me so much. When I still can't protect anyone. When the strong are supposed to protect the weak. And yet you still had to protect me. Despite everything that I've been through, when I finally felt that I was strong, strong enough to protect what I loved, and you still saw that I wasn't strong enough. So fine, fine. You want me to leave? I'll show how wrong that you were. I'm no leader. But I will lead them anyway, since that's what you wanted. Since you taught me how to fight the way that I do. I'll show them. I'll show them all. Since this is what you wanted, isn't it? energy from hope begins to crackle and recede bit by bit, the voice not stopping but slowly becoming quieter and quieter until you can no longer hear it, silence covering the elder tree's island once more, but a feeling of grief remains. Pray that this will work. It's... 
another Kimmy Strike at all. I do this one. energy <clears throat> begins to coalesce around the center island of the grove. Its glow is radiant. What the? And it passes through you all. Almost as if you were not standing there. The lights dance amongst the reeds and flowers and trees. It lay here my prayer. I wish to turn, I wish to return one of your kin back to their dryad once more. I want him to return home to Cedrilla, to be with her forever until she is reborn. May he be the voice of reason, the voice of guidance, of all his knowledge be gifted onto her, everything that he has learned through his travels. Please, Etla, for once hear my prayer. There's a brief moment of quiet. There is only the reflection of green light dancing across your eyes, swathing in and out of the roots and the reeds. You sense nothing, see nothing for a moment. A few seconds begin to pass, and there is a strange sound. It is not a rumble, nor is it any sort of overt crackling or snapping, but the rather the sound of movement beneath your feet. All of you can sense it <laughs> gentle, but the movement is there nonetheless. As you look at Tear, you see that the dirt around his body begins to slightly roil and move, almost as if something beneath it was pushing the soil aside. As you continue to look upon Tyr, you see what looks like wooden roots slowly snake out of the ground on either side of the body rising straight above them. They rise up around his feet, around his head, around his sides, and begin gently wrapping themselves almost as if bandages across the entirety of Tyr's body. Bit by bit, he is slowly covered as the roots gently encase him. And as they do so, along with what he lays upon, the roots begin to gently pull him beneath the soil. Slowly, bit by bit, tears, visage, his silhouette begins to disappear as he is pulled down gently beneath the soil of the elder tree. And as a few moments pass, the roots themselves disappear, and nothing is left where he laid but the soil itself and a bit of green for the few plants that remain. The green light around you begins to flicker and slowly fade. And when it is gone, Tyr's body is nowhere to be seen. You in the next life, friend. 
I guess that's that. Let's join him. He's with that love. We shall see you again. Farewell, dear. Farewell, dear. Goodbye, my friend. We will miss you. Shield. You bring the two grand gas. Are you well, my maiden? Which name, my lord? I'll oh, go get them. Her horses ready. Let's leave soon. Yeah. I wish we could stay longer, I do. I know. I know. <laughs> um, thank you all for having us. It's an honor to be here. Maiden. There's a tradition among my company that we lay two graves upon the point where they are to rest. Then I would be honored if you do so. Morwen. Take the glaive from my back. Let's finish this. Should you need them? Both his glaive and my company's glaive are there. Thank you. Oh, 
horses are ready. Um, that's the... I'll, I'll go up and get my boat back on. If you'd rather. You heard me. I'll travel with them. Everyone heard me, didn't they? It is fair for me to wish good fortune to you. <laughs> I appreciate it. I wish good fortune on you, brother. I shall find you at a different point. I'll be nearby. I'll try to cross. Make sure that there's nothing going to ambush you. Appreciate it. You coming back here? I'm not certain. I am harboring two injuries, so I may make it back, but it might be in the forest. Alright. If you do, please look after her. I will. Thanks, Gordon. You know I will. Actually, I'll move ahead of you. See if there's anything there. So how was that? Different. That's for sure. Yeah. I'll be ahead of you at first, and I'll be behind you. Be safe. Same unto you.
Shall we, my lord? We shall.
I jumped on the other side. That was wicked. Swift, be safe. Um, uh, if you wish to have that talk tomorrow morning, now that my mind's more clear. Gladly. I'll see you then. Stay safe, Harry. Accident. Gods. Marcus, he, he just he took the turn too wide. Gods. <laughs> the imps are back at it again. My lord. Yeah. <laughs> again? The fuck you mean again? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> I will be there at your orders. <laughs> Kill this trash. Listen, just because. Just because mm. your knight doesn't know how to drive a horse and fucking. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Just like he, he doesn't know how to control his Stone side. scraping sound effect. Oh. Yeah. So there's one. What did you say about my knight? <laughs> <It's>... <laughs> <laughs> I can't You're tell if it's no, 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 that can be Okay, okay, let's uh... Yeah, the so that your so horse weird that... Fucking... Oh god, there's so many people dying. Mm. Look at how many people died. Enjoy. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, I think that's a big math chaz there. <laughs> yeah. Oops, I didn't mean to click that. Well, yeah, there was a dreadful accident in the middle of the street. Can I enter show into some magical items? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I would hope not. <laughs> yeah, I would hope not either. Fuck. Wait, nah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, of all the times. <laughs> oh, <shit>. uh, yeah. <laughs> Well, I'm waiting for my driver to come back. Yeah, Marcus is crushed. He there he is. <laughs> God, could you imagine? He, he literally just walks past without breaking a <laughs> step and just... <laughs> <laughs> Alright. I wouldn't put it past him. Yeah. We back up. Alright, back up. Alright. Vic, did you just, like, hate fun? Oh, cool. Instead of I'll let you... Do you want me to... Got it? Let's just make it over. Alright. <clears throat> Me too. Watch out. Thank you again. Should I see those answers or should I see them all? No. I'm out of it. It's working today. <laughs> I'll launch off of it. Make tomorrow a better day, all right? Nice. Well, today was a good day in a sense with the, you know. Tomorrow. Today, jealous of tomorrow. 
They never do get a close look at the stars. I'm alright, Aka. I'm gonna get some sleep, though. It's been a long day. I'll see you tomorrow. I'll try and find some time for sword training. Alright. Rest well. Relax. Get absolutely uh, blasted. Good, get, no, well, no, I don't think no. I'm breaking that. Drink some tea and some pipe weed. Right. In moderation. Okay. Uh. Well, I'll go put on some Lisa, tea then for you, anyone you that are, needs it. You are free <sighs> to take your dreamer drought and crash on those pillows. If you want to take first Don't. watch, sir. I'm gonna go cuddle with Kyler tonight because I'm scared of ghosts. <laughs> I'll see yours tonight. I appreciate it. I don't know this sitting on a fucking stool anymore. Thank you, my lord. Oh, uh, well, that better <clears> take. Don't oh, darn it. You rest well, alright? Well, I'll see you tomorrow. Bright eyed, bushy tailed. You mm. sleep. Yes, I know. I you appreciate sleep, that, my lord. Tight, my lord. Of course. <sighs> Fuck, we don't have a couch down there anymore. I forgot. Okay. Look, well, you got all these pillows you can just here. here. Yeah, you got pretty good yeah. cushions over there. My lord, you can well, have wait, the I couch. Got, I, got, I got beds down there now. We got a, uh, another bed. He got bed lost in it. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> Oh. There's a door here. Ah! Oh, that's a door. You know what? This isn't this isn't too uncomfortable. Landed on my spine. You're welcome. Oh, well, you're welcome to take the little bed, my bed. I'll probably sleep on the bedroll next to the Baroness when I get done making these potions tonight. I will rest up here until you move. Just wake me up, okay? Okay. And she will do so. Yeah. He, as you. I think it there. We'll call it a night. Yeah. Uh -huh. As you wake him up, he just moves to his next spot to guard. <sighs> yep. What a what a day of days, huh? <sighs> don't oh my even gosh. get me started. Uh, let me. I don't know what that fucker was. That sudden death of everybody. Holy shit! VR chat, get your servers in order. <laughs> Some pops off. <sighs> And here I will uh, respawn and they call my stream.
Don't be so hard on yourself, Lisa. Everyone who protects me dies. Because I was too weak. It's not about strength. You could be the strongest person in the whole fucking world and I'd still protect you and look after you. It's because we care. It's because we love you. No matter how strong you get, that won't change. I'm always gonna stick my neck out for you. That's what siblings do. And they do the same. It's not about strength or weakness. It's about care and affection. Why me? Why me? Why anyone that we care about? We can't control it, Lisa. I'm not a leader. I'm not an alchemist. I'm not a knight or a lord. I'm nothing. So why am I always the one that has to live when I have nothing? When people found out that Arn had adopted me, a lot of things that were said were big shoes to fill or following in his footsteps. It took me a very long time, a very long time, to realize that it's not about wearing someone else's shoes or being in a position. It's about following the right path and doing it the best you can. That's all we can do, Lisa. So you don't need to be an alchemist or a leader or a lord or anything. You just need to be Lisa. Believe it or not. Being me gets people killed. Sorry, sister, but they do that either way. It's not on you. didn't die because of you, they died in spite of you. Doesn't mean it's your fault. Doesn't mean you could have done anything different or been anything different. To put that on yourself is unfair. It won't get you anywhere. 